Hi Aries, welcome to your May love reading. This is for love in all areas, so family, relationships, that type of thing, but it more focuses on the romantic. Astrologically speaking, Aries, this is a huge month for you. Uranus finally moves out of your sign into Taurus, and Uranus is known as the planet of chaos, disruption, sudden expect unexpected changes, you know, it's that Aquarian energy, it's sort of that unexpected item in bagging area planet where suddenly the alarms are going off and you don't know where it came from, you know, it's unexpected changes when it's in your sign. It's probably felt like there were sudden losses and if we're going with relationship information, um, yeah, I would say it's probably been quite chaotic. There's been sudden changes in family dynamics for you. There's been sudden changes in relationships. For as long as you can remember at this point, uh, the most recent experiences would have had a lot of change in them, unpredictable change. When it moves into Taurus, it can affect your income somewhat. My uh, book just fell on the floor, very unexpected. Um, when it moves into your second house, which is Taurus, it can be more financially orientated. But what we always think about in the tarot and astrology is that your second house isn't just worth in terms of income and money, it's actually worth in terms of how you see yourself, how you present yourself and whatever. So Aries is a confident sign, right? Ruled by Mars. But sometimes you can take unexpected dips in confidence with this energy. But for the most part, it is learning to accept, I guess, um, what is and what isn't right for you. Um, just to see what fell out here, we have the death card, so that explains that unpredictable energy. Eight of spears, which is the eight of wands, and we have the knight of pentacles. For me, this is very symbolic of relationships which seem stable and suddenly end. So I feel like that's the energy I'm sort of picking up, that something, there's been a, a very unexpected arrangement of relationships in your life. Possibly with Scorpio people, but we'll see what we're going on here for you, Aries. So, Aries, love forecast for May. Aries, love forecast for May. Aries, love forecast for May. So we have, in the past position, we have the Page of Pentacles. The present Six of Swords, okay, so we do have moving on from something. Knight of Wands. Seven of Swords, okay. Interesting. Nine of Swords. So this is how they think and feel about you. So whatever love interest we're dealing with, um, someone's suspicious of you. Two of Pentacles. Justice, Six of Cups and the Hierophant, and the King of Wands, this is your energy. So I'll move this here so that you can see these cards. Um, so Aries, there really seems to be a person in your life that's not trusting you. Or um, someone who suspects you of something, like who sort of views you in a, not a very confident light, I must say. It almost seems like someone's really lost a bit of faith in you, lost a little bit of confidence in you, I think. It seems to me to be, um, sorry, this, I think, um, I'm picking up this Uranus energy in your sign. Everything's sort of falling apart around me. Um, what I can see here, I don't know if you've ever... cheated on someone or let somebody down massively because in the what they think of you position so if this is a partner or a love interest or whatever the seven of swords they don't trust you they think you've done something or they think you're doing something that makes makes them lose a little bit of confidence because I feel like this could be a fellow fire sign or even an earth sign is coming up and Libra is coming up quite strongly but as always you know it can be any sign it's just characteristics really when I see this, I just feel like this is somebody who's who's obsessed with things being equal and things being fair. And I feel like you're coming across to them as being somewhat selfish, okay? I feel like they're questioning your intentions. And possibly with this Uranus energy, 
moving out of your sign, you, you maybe have been a bit unpredictable, okay? You maybe have been a little bit chaotic or suddenly interested in someone and then ghosting them, right? Um, if you're guilty of that, you'll know. But if this is somebody that you're interested in, I feel like they either know you have a history of this or there's something you've said or done that seems to suggest that, okay? So we have the Six of Swords. We're moving forward from one chapter. I feel like this is you moving out of an infantile stage in relationships to something more substantial. You're growing as a person, Aries. There's great growth here, okay? We start off with the Page of Pentacles in the past position. This was you developing your inner strength, your inner morality, your core values, that type of thing. And then we move to the Hierophant, which is a committed energy. Someone who's very stable, someone who's very grounded, someone who's very devoted to what it is that they believe in. The advice for you with the Six of Cups is to reunite, okay? So I feel like there's a reconciliation here. Um, when I see it as a reconciliation, I see it as with someone that you've wronged rather than someone that wronged you, right? Because this is focusing so much on somebody who wants justice. They want an apology with this justice here. Um, this is what you need to know about them. They're fair. Could be a lawyer. Uh, with the two of pentacles here, they want you to balance. They want you to be able to show them the commitment. They want you to be able to show them the loyalty. And they want to know that you can be yourself and that at the same time. They want to know that you can be this committed person. And with the Hierophant as the outcome position, I can see you coming through. So I wonder, is there a lot of people watching this Aries reading that are cross-watching? Um, or your moon is in Aries, or your rising is in Aries? It seems to me like... You know, this person cares, but they're they're wary, okay? But it's for good reason. I feel like there has been something or something said or something that's done. Um, it's like they know that you have a tendency either to step out or not take things as seriously. I think they're sort of seeing you as being a love, and, a love them and leave them type. Or they're seeing as that's the type of person that you go for. You know, it can go either way. They're seeing you as this Knight of Wands character, and you are a Knight of Wands, Aries, when you're not fully ready for a relationship. But when you are, you're the King of Wands, which is here. There's a development going on within you, and I feel like this is the lessons from Uranus, you know, being able to control your temper, being able to flow with the changes, being able to develop yourself as a person. Um, you know, I feel like you may be wanting a second chance with somebody and it, it's, it's possible because the Six of Cups here is the advice. Go back to your roots, go back to your family. If you're, if you're someone that has a tendency to cheat or lie, why is that? You know, does it go back to childhood? Does it go back to your relationship with a parent? Six of Cups is always that nostalgic feeling. Are you cheating on someone because you deep down want to be with your ex or are you cheating with an ex, you know? I feel like with this Aries reading, you guys seem to be in this maturity stage. It seems to be really strong to me. Like you start off one way and you end the month another. The Hierophant's very committed energy. And we're coming from Aries season into Taurus season. I mean, we're currently in Taurus season just now. And Taurus energy is coming through. You've done your retrograde. You've gone over things. You've assessed the past. You've assessed your mistakes. And as we shift from Aryan energy into Taurus, people level a lot. There's less accidents, there's less intensity, there's less snapping. Particularly with the Mercury retrograde. Mercury retrograde is always trickier in Aries. Because people are touchy, people do things, people act on impulse. Someone sees you as impulsive. When in actual fact, the real you is here, okay? So they're not seeing you completely clearly yet. They're seeing the side of you that someone else has presented or they've heard about. They've seen you in your worst, I think. And it's up to you whether you promise them something. I think, like, I feel like you want to promise them something, Aries. You know? Then we have the Ten of Wands and the Four of Wands. It's like you're willing to put in the hard work now. You're ready for this. You're ready to commit. Um, if you're cross-watching cross -watching for an Aries, they're suddenly ready to commit. Suddenly ready to invest everything they have in this one relationship. 
and make something much more committed. You know, the Hierophant and the Four of Wands typically can be a marriage, it can be an engagement, it can be a proposal. I feel like they're ready, and I feel like for a lot of them, it's reconciling with someone they've hurt. Uh, someone you've hurt, Aries, you're reconciling with that aspect. It seems to me that there's been a lot of back and forth, and there's been times where you've disappointed others, and you've disappointed yourself, and you're really learning and growing from that. You know, moving from a knight to a king is a big transition. I mean, the order is perfect, right? We have the page, and then the knight, and then the swords. Not the swords, the king. Uh, the way they feel about you with the nine of swords, though, you've, you've really hurt this person. You've really stuck, I mean, but it's not a ten of swords. It's not done for them. They're not completely over this. It's like they might think that they are. I also feel like for some of you, it may be that you could be dealing with somebody that's been cheated on before and they're worried about happening again and they're putting up a barrier. Um, you know, as romantic feelings, when I read the, the Nine of Swords, it's like anxiety. It's like being anxious about this person. They're anxious about you. Um, they may be denying their feelings because they're so scared. I feel like there's guilt here for someone. It could be for you, something you've done, or it could be guilt for them. So, you know, on the, on the opposite coin areas, you may be thinking of rec reconciling with someone that's hurt you. Suddenly they want to be committed. They want to do the real deal. Um, this could be someone, yeah, this could be someone that stepped out on you too. You know, when I'm reading this, and they're sorry. They're really sorry. They want to, they want to develop. They want to be better. They want to commit all of a sudden. They want to put in the, the effort. But it would take so much for you to forgive them. It's like it'll take a lot for you to be able to move forward from this relationship, moving forward with this relationship. But I see a commitment here. You should always follow your heart, whatever it is you want to do. If you want to forgive someone, you can forgive them and take that chance. If you want to win someone back, you can always try and do that. You know, free will all the way. It just seems to me like there's a relationship that went wrong. There was mistrust here. And suddenly it just, it just looks like a beautiful picture all of a sudden when I see it. We go from the uncertainty and the immaturity. It's almost like going from teenagers to adults in love. So I hope this reading resonated with you, Aries. Um, thank you for all your likes and subscriptions. And I will talk to you in the May General. Bye.